Andy Michael, Professor and Associate Chair, at Department of Entomology. Thought that um, working in insects and agriculture would have a, a really large and immediate impact. I mean, every year we have over 4 million acres of corn or 4 million acres of soybean in the ground in Ohio alone. Um, and so that's a significant economic input. Soybean uh, for the longest time was easy to manage from an insect point of view, especially, you know, it was on 20, 22 years ago, the soybean aphid first invaded the United States. So it's an invasive species and invasive pest. And a lot of farmers are unfamiliar with that, mainly because we haven't had a lot of pests for, for a long time. You know, we try to really focus on what coming up with the best tools and ways to manage insect pests. But we try to help growers develop good decision-making tools to only use insecticides when it's absolutely necessary. And it's one of those things that you just, you have to be proactive to monitor throughout the year because by the time you get it figured out, normally it's too late. Um, so for example, we've developed a 3D printed uh, soybean leaves with different levels of percentage defoliation gone and this defoliation can be caused by several insects and so these tools that we've developed will help growers more accurately determine what is actually 10 percent and then whether or not they need to spray. Those are definitely a tool that I think every every farmer should have. Do I need to call somebody and, and have an expert come out to look at this field um, when it gets to this certain stage or this certain point of, of defoliation? So when I'm looking for aphids and when I'm teaching, teaching farmers and students, I always tell them to go to the plant, look at the top, turn the leaf over, and then look for aphids. Sometimes you'll see very, very small colonies, maybe one or two. Other times you'll see aphids that have maybe 30, 40 aphids on them. I think the most interesting and best part of my job is to really interact with, with soybean farmers and agronomic crop producers. They help me and I help them. And, and to me, seeing that immediate impact for soybean farmers has really been helpful and really rewarding as in, in my part of my profession. I think there are many opportunities for agricultural entomology. I mean, I actually grew up in the suburbs of Chicago and I didn't think I'd be an agricultural entomologist. There's always insects in agriculture. They're always adapting. And so every day is almost a new problem for me. 